Well, TGIF one more time. It's amazing how quickly Friday rolls around um, and how quickly Friday the 5th of February rolls around. I remember that day because uh, 39 years ago today, my lovely wife and I tied the knot. Can't forget that date. I, in fact, I learned early on how to remember your wedding anniversary. Just forget it one time. You won't forget it again. Yep, been married 39 years. That's nothing compared to some of you folks in the church family who've been married 50 or 60 years or more. And I know that staying together has its challenges. Um, things happen that negatively impact the marital union. I got to thinking about over the years how, how I've, uh, what I've done to celebrate this special occasion. Uh, in addition to some great trips, oh my goodness, caught lots of fish. <laughs> uh, one year I bought my beloved a new refrigerator for our anniversary. <laughs> I know it wasn't a great gift for anniversary, but I love seeing her face light up every time she opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought it was smart the year I asked my wife if she'd like to have a diamond ring to celebrate our anniversary. I um, think that was the 25th. And she said, nothing would make me happier. So I got what she asked for, nothing. <laughs> uh, but we're still married. Like I said, things happen that impact our marital bliss and longevity for sure. <laughs> well, enough about marital bliss. Uh, our board of trustees prepared a well, we call it the 2020 Annual Review. It is available uh, digitally on the weekly connection, and some printed copies are available at the entrance of both of our sanctuaries, uh, both campuses. Uh, things in here about what went on during 2020 and how God was at work in our midst. Uh, there's stuff about missions and finance and ministries of all sorts. Um, Lessons learned in 2020. You'll want to make sure and check that out. Like I said, it's on the um, weekly connection. I think that's where you watch this video. And it's also available in print at the sanctuary entrance. Uh, thank the board for doing that for us. Uh, one announcement about things coming up. The women's ministry has an in-person event. It's entitled All About Scripture Scratching. Scripture scratching. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. But it's on Monday, February the 15th, 1 o'clock uh, at the Sun City campus. You'll want to be a part of that. Special guest person Phyllis Clark Nich Nicholson is uh, speaking. So check today's weekly connection for details and the link to register for that event. Please register so make sure that we have plenty of room. Hey, before I pray, I'd like to thank those of you who prayed for me last Saturday to win the bass tournament. And in addition to my gratitude, I'd like to ask you to pray a little harder this week. Came in fifth place last week. I'd like to do a little better. So I trust that you're praying for me. Uh, I, I know that you are. In fact, uh, I heard, overheard someone praying for me today. And, oh, it is so encouraging to know that we are praying for one another. Not just praying for the pastor and the board and whatever, but we pray for one another because we love each other. I'd like to pray for you right now. Come on, let's go to the throne of grace. Visit with our Father. Holy and Heavenly Father, thank you for drawing us to yourself in this moment for inviting us into your, your presence and to uh, experience your grace and your love, your mercy, your forgiveness, and all that you have for us. Oh, you're such a good, loving Father, and we praise you. We lift up those in our uh, awareness that are hurting, some of them physically. Lord, know, know that some had surgery last week to relieve their pain and pray, Lord, for their uh, their recovery, complete recovery and relief of pain. I know that there are some who are overcoming sicknesses and pray, Lord, for your power of healing in their lives. Uh, we know, Father, too, that some are hurting because they've lost loved ones. Lord, we lift them up. Um, our hearts hurt with theirs. Uh, you've given us uh, compassion for one another, and uh, we hurt together. But we also rejoice together because, Lord, we know that um, we're not home yet. We're just pilgrims passing through. So help us, Lord, not to get too tightly anchored to this place because we've got a, we got a real place to be, and it is out of this world. 
It's with you forever, and we'll look forward to that. In the meantime, Lord, while you leave us here, uh, you've given us a job to do. So help us to be busy about loving each other, and especially those folks that are difficult to love, people who are, well, they, we might consider them our opponents or enemies. Lord, you taught us to lift them up, to pray for them, to be helpful to them. Help us to do that because it is very difficult sometimes. Lord, we pray for our country, for leaders all over the world uh, to make our world a better place. But Lord, we, we know too that the answer to the world's problems is Jesus. And it's our privilege as well as our responsibility to tell the world about Jesus. Help us to keep the main thing the main thing. Again, Lord, we love you and we lift your name on high. We sing your praises because you are good all the time. Till we meet again in person, Lord. Amen. Looking forward to Sunday. Yes, it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Uh, have a good weekend, and I'll see you Sunday morning, either online or in person, or um, who knows? We may meet in the air somewhere. Love you, and God bless you. Bye.